Hello, my name is Joanne. I'm a third year student for the Bachelor of Music at Victoria University. And my major project this year is going to be a EP release. Um, and it's very daunting. I am a bit nervous about it. Um, so I thought I would start this video introduction uh, and I hope that you're going to journey with me throughout this time till September. There will be tears, there will be tantrums, there will be lots of self-doubt, there will be so lots of times where I think I've got it, there will be times where I think I don't have it. But I hope that you'll journey with me and to the end, the end goal. So I'm actually doing a EP of some of the, the songs that helped shape uh, my grandma, some of her favourite songs, some of her favourite hymns. She's 90 years old, she's 91 in May, and she's suffering from dementia and COVID just has sped up her dementia. And while she's still got some type of um, ability, I'd like to be able to give her something to listen to that will bring her back some fond memories of singing because she, she's always loved to sing. She loves to sing. So the first song that I will be, be doing um, is uh, Climb Every Mountain from The Sound of Music. When she was the mayoress of Thomastown, she would actually sing this song at civic events. It was one of her favourite songs and it was very important to her and I would like to sing it as close to as she did as possible, which is very much just a cover. The second song is a reimagination and it's somewhere over the rainbow. And I really want to take this, this vision of the fact that we want to, we want something better. I've done some research on the story of how the song came to be written because we know it was written for the Wizard of Oz. It wasn't supposed to be in the Wizard of Oz. Um, it was written by two Jewish immigrants who had come to America. Uh, the guy that wrote the music, he built up a very, he'd had a really tough childhood. He had built up a electrical business. He lost everything in the Great Depression and he only really had his writing left. That's all he could do was write. And somehow, and I don't know how they got together, they wrote this, but the story goes that when it was played for the movie, um, when it was played for the movie, Ira Gershwin wasn't really happy with the with the ending, and so there was some there was some workshopping occur, and they ended up with a tag: "If happy little bluebirds could fly, then why oh why can't I?" And that tag became the end of the of the song, and so it was it was it became very very um, special to particularly the Jewish people in Europe who had to flee. Europe at the time and particularly when the Second World War started and they're fleeing Europe because they were looking for the dream and for them it was over the rainbow and so it was very very important for them so that became a very important song for them and as we're coming out of this time of COVID well you know some places are further along than others but you know it's a great song to hold on to as we struggle to find our place and work out how we're going to navigate through through everything, how we're going to live a normal life again. Because there is a dream somewhere over the rainbow. So I hope you will journey with me as I go on this journey and uh, this publishing journey and see what we can come up with. 